Hey, welcome back to... Oh, what episode are we on? I just had it open a second ago. I think it's episode 17 of The Fellow Traveller. Uh, <laughs> that's a bad way to start. Yeah, episode 17. And in the last game, we played the Europa League conference games and I miraculously mirac miraculously uh, got through to the the group stage, which is a nice solid two and a half million or 2.2 million or something in there in the budget over the next few years and we had the group stage draw and I played a few games so we batted Mladost Mladost Dobush or Dobuy Kakani because the J's I think in Bosnian similar to um, Slovenian at least where I've been the J's are often just the kind of apostrophe sound like a U um and Foynica, which again I think is that player that's pronounced. We've smashed them in the cup, but they were a terrible like lower league side. I played loads of youth players, and I think as well, Luka Malic scored a penalty in one of these. Yeah, he got redeemed himself after missing that penalty a few games ago. And in our Europa Conference League draw, we got Alexandria, who are Ukrainian. Yeah, Ukraina, and. I got barely any players, they're not really that good. Astra Gyugyu, who are Central Asian somewhere, maybe? Oh no, they're Romanian. I think they'll be better. Or maybe not. And Saint Etienne, who are the French club who I've heard of, who I yeah, would be much better than Why wow, they've got Shane Long. When did they sign Shane Long from Southampton? Well, I learned him to a starna for two games. Oh he had a sad end to his career. Anyway, so yeah, so ATM will be very difficult. Um, but I think we've got a chance against Gugu and oh, Alexandria, was that it? So yeah, so this game we're going to do FK Sarajevo, who are favourites to win the league, or were last season anyway. Let me have a look at the preview. Uh, yeah, they're favourites to win the league, and they've got a few good players in the Media Dream 11. I noticed that I don't think I have one in the media dream 11 but I do have Radovac or Radovac and Aladdin in the key players and yeah I don't think anything else has happened between let me have a quick look it's been a few days since I looked at this save I bought Anna Adzim actually I think that was between yeah I think that was between the two say the two videos sorry he's just quite a good sub uh, to field uh, we've kind of been struggling for depth in that position we've got two Really good players in Radovac and I can't remember his name, Hasanovic. And Gomez plays there, but I prefer playing on the left wing. And if we don't have him as the backup to the left wing, then Milanovic hasn't got a player to cover him. So he needed a good backup centre midfielder, preferably Bosnian and young. And well, not not doesn't have to be young, preferably young. And adds and fits that bill. And it's just got quite good stats. Uh, nothing great, but he's only 20 years old, he's Bosnian, didn't pay him much money, so it was the perfect signing. And um, we're going to play Stario over now with this team. Uh, I should have, said, should have said at the beginning of the video, actually, I've changed my mics back to my old mic, which I think might, might work much better um, for reasons that I won't go into. So the audio quality might be better, or might be worse, <laughs> hopefully better, uh, in this video, and maybe I'll be clearer anyway. <coughs> Yeah, so let's play FK Sarajevo. I think that, actually, I might not play Bogdanovic. He and Rahimovic. Rahim, oh, Rahimic, even. Where is he? Edis Rahimic. Yeah, okay, I'll play Bogdanovic, actually. He's older. Him and Rahimic kind of fight over the first team goalkeeper. They're similar ability. I tend to play Bogdanovic because he's older. And I think he's better at stopping... It's shot stopping like an old style keeper, and Raheem is just the better, um, better distribution and things like that. They're a bit more complex. Yeah, I'll hand over to a system. I've got nothing specific to say. This this could be quite a telling game, I think, because Sarajevo <coughs> they've not played very well so far this season, but they should be a real challenge at the top. Although well, Zrinski is the the second best team right now, which could be interesting because that's the the rival, and I think they have some 
right wing connections, Zorinsky. Whereas Velez, Velez is the kind of left wing team. But if we if we dominate Sarajevo, it's kind of a sign that we're going to win the league quite easily, I think. So I kind of like it not to be the case uh, because I'd like to have a season or two here building up, and the money we got in the Europa Conference League would help that. But oh yes, Milanovic, nice tackle. Not a very good shot there, but um, <coughs> so it'd be nice to have a an extra year in Bosnia. I don't really like this keep winning leagues in one season. It's a bit annoying because you don't really get to build any relationships with players. And but I think I've been unlucky that most of the teams I've gone to have been like fourth or third in the league. Go on, lad, and put a cross in. Gomez. I guess we're just playing them off the park, passing it around to kind of it. Sure, oh, what goal! Uh, but yeah, so I've. Gone in. A, I've got two or three in a row where the team is kind of third or fourth in the league, and I'd kind of prefer it. Oh, it's a beautiful goal! I'd prefer if we started off with a team that was kind of really good in the league below or bottom half of the league. So we've spent a few seasons. Um, but if you start off with a third or fourth team, like a team that's third or fourth in the league. It's not difficult with a few signings to dominate the league in one season. Especially if there isn't like a real tie-in of finances. I'm not sure if this game is different as well. Because on the previous game, when I played very similar save, I've not played any of these clubs before. But um, you would always have the situation where there'd always be one or two teams. Sometimes just one, but normally more than one. Oh, I'm happy with that nice and vicious performance. I'll get back to that conversation in a second. I'll click the wrong one, but it seemed to work well anyway. <clears throat> but yeah, you'd always have like one team who's really wealthy, or two teams that are really wealthy, and it's really difficult to break into those. What I really loved about playing the Czech Republic, actually, was that there tends to be three, top three teams that are solid. I think it's Victoria Pils and maybe two of the Prague teams, maybe Pro uh, Slavia and Sparta, uh, and you just can't, I have to focus properly now. I thought we were going to smash this. Uh, Bogdanovic and Milanovic made the mistakes that led to that goal. Don't know, that was Milanovic's. Um, wasn't the best tackle. <coughs> I don't know if that was really Bogdanovic's fault. It's gone down in the game as that, but it seemed like quite a well placed shot. Yeah, I'm going to make some subs. over there. Been Major off at Abzen. Katic has played a few games as well recently and been quite good. Not great, but good. So I'm going to play him now. I do think I need to bring on someone in defence. Maybe we'll wait a bit. But yeah, normally if there's a really wealthy team, you have to like fight that team to win the league. Oh, it's close, Vanage. And that's kind of the the, like, the boss, the boss battle. Um, and I lived in the Czech Republic because there were like three bosses, so it's very difficult. And also, if you come fourth, you don't get much money. And if you come fourth three seasons in a row, you don't make much progress. I did win the league eventually there, though. I really enjoyed it. But a um, similar problem in Israel. There's like one or two. I think it's Maccabi Tel Aviv. who have got loads of money. And. Wow. It's an interesting pass, but we kept it in. Go on, Zakanovic. Oh, that's terrible. Clearance. Oh, so close. <laughs> but yeah, you don't really seem to have that in... Um, maybe it's this game. I don't know. I've not found it in any of the leagues so far. But um, I do think FK, FK Sarajevo have more money than most of the other clubs in the league. But they don't seem to be dominating the league at all. I can't work out how to take off the right back and draw up the defence or take off... Glissage and hope we win the game. But you know what? It's a, it's a stream, uh, or at least it's a video I have to watch back myself at some point. Let's make it interesting. Let's bring on Djukovic and go for the game and hope that we score a goal in the last 15 minutes, rather than defending and holding on to this one-all draw, which is not bad really because we're well, we are at home though. But like we're top of the league already. 
need to work out as well the league split in the middle. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a fucking draw, no highlights. Okay. Could have gone either way. Uh, I'm just going to, yeah, it's in fires. And I'm going to tell Zakanovic. He did have a really good game. He was the most, like, the real attacking threat all game. The left back. <laughs> Bowing down the wings. And I'm just going to tell. No, no, it's fine. Don't need to tell any players. They played badly. We played all right. Just have a quick check when the league, what the rules of the league are. If it splits. Only 22 games. I think there's a problem in this league as well. I think there should be more than 22 games. <clears throat> Ends in April. Which is kind of good if we win the league, we find a club quite quickly. Oh, sorry, not quite quickly, but before the beginning of next season. And yeah, it appears that there isn't a second phase. That it's just stages. Maybe last season. Yeah, 22 games. Sorry, everyone won the league quite solidly. 11 points ahead. They didn't win the year before. Um, sponsorship income. Yeah, sorry, ever get a lot more than anyone else. More than twice of anyone else. And six times that we get. And the other thing, I might have already showed this before. Where is the league? <coughs> is the detailed team stats. I think that they they spent a lot more on transfers than anyone else and they have a hell of a lot more. Three times we have, more than three times that we have salary per annum. <coughs> yeah. So it should be there should be a challenge. I'm not sure if this game it's become easier to get cheap players or um I don't know. It's just easier to beat teams that are better than you in the league over the course of a season. No idea. We'll see. But um, oh praise Zakanovic! I'm just gonna pass in, hopefully. Yeah, I'm just gonna pause the stream here. We'll get onto the Astra Gyugyu. I should probably pronounce that terribly. Game against the Romanian team in the Europa Conference League. Back in a sec. Cool. And here we are back for the second game against Astra Gyugyu uh, in the Europa UEFA even Europa Conference League. I think we're away. I don't think that's our stadium. Oh no, I think it. I think it might be our stadium actually. Um, yeah, we're at home. Perfect. And the only change I've made really is I brought the right back Sanita Lazandic off for Bayek Tarevic, who's not playing that much better. But I don't know. He's been kind of a bad one of form. Lazandic. Oh no, I seem to have forgotten that seven point three. But yeah, these aren't very good. Against good opposition, so I'll give him a break. And there's a few players that are a bit tired because I'm playing basically the same team as last game. So hopefully that isn't bad. And yeah, again, nothing particular to say. And I'm gonna go cautious because I think that Astra Gyugyu have got a better team than us. I saw Daniel Granovac or Granovac come up, who's Bosnian actually. Um. Yeah, and he looks like he would smash most of our team. <laughs> Even if he's at the worst end of that list of stats. Go on, pass it across, Milanovic. Oh, that was a tame, tame header. <coughs> but yeah, it's really great we've got this um, this year of the Conference League, whatever the fuck it's called, Cup, because it adds another challenge to the to the league this season because we've got to juggle all these two games and even if we aren't challenging that much in the league oh fuck's sake even if we aren't challenging that much in the league by teams like FK Sarajevo at least we'll be playing going to I was going to say Paris but I assume Saint Etienne is um, a city in France but yeah we'll be going, we're going abroad and playing good quality teams and I mean, some interesting games, so it's not going to be, it's not going to be boring. It's going to be challenging as well. If we're lucky, we'll get. Oh, oh, nice header from Osman Kovic. <laughs> right at the top of the net, but uh, iron off the crossbar as well. <coughs> I have to watch that again. It's so quick, I didn't see it coming. Oh, nice. I think he's the one that's good in the air. Fraj is good on the ground. Yeah, he's pretty good in the air. Oof, 
they scored that in just a brief second. That was highlighted away. Oh, whoops. It's like you heard a loud bang. Both are just playing badly again. But yeah, if we get far in this trophy as well, at the end of the season, we'll have a lot more games in the Europa Conference League and the Cup. Oh, fuck's sake. Nearly everyone there has oh, been a goal. I haven't had a clear cut chance yet. Wait, how is that not a clear cut chance? What just happened? Maybe it's been put up now? No, it hasn't. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that the keeper's fault? That's an unfortunate, yeah, an unfortunate ten minutes for us. Hmm. Yeah, and at home as well. It's not a great result so far. Gonna give them a bit of a bollocking. Now Glissic seems to get nervous quite easily, so I don't want to give him too much of a bollocking. <clears throat> but I do think I'll bring him off. Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> I do think I'll bring him off if um, he continues to perform this badly. Okay. I'm not I've upset both of our fullbacks, which might be a problem. <coughs> Let's go back to cautious. We do need a goal, though. <coughs> ASAP, really. This could be it. Radovac. Yes, Franage. And I think he is the one that's not particularly good in the air. Oh, no, he's not bad. He's just not quite as good as Oz Blankovic. They were both there fighting over it, but Franage beat him to it. Nice, that is, that is a chance. I'm going to have to bring off one of those two. I think Lazandic is going to have to come on. And I'm going to make Zakanovic less attacking. That's my plan. Because then at least if he fucks up, he's not. Miles up the pitch. <coughs> and bring Glessage off as well. Let's do it. Let's try and take this game by the. Take the oh, bull by the horns? This game by its horns? Is that, there's an expression there somewhere, I'm sure. Grab this game by the scruff of its neck. I'm adding to neck it as well. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something. Let's go attacking. Let's play with a higher line, both in defence and in attack. A few times it, it's kind of glitched out when I've um, tried to do that and sub players on. So I'll try and just now to separately do it. So do the first half and then press confirm and then do the second half. I'm going to make a catch. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but I would allowed to get injured. <coughs> And I think it would be good just to have a fresh pair of legs on the pitch. No, I kind of want a shadow striker right now, but let's try and get as many of these players forward as we can. Attacking that's all. Uh, I think I am going to have to put Zaganovic attacking. Just hope. I mean, if we consider goal four two isn't the end of the world. Whereas if we score a goal three all is a completely different kettle of fish. I think it might be the la the former of those two options. But yeah. I'm just a bit of cautious now. I don't want to lose five two. It's unfortunate. It's going to be a bad start to our uh, Europa Conference League run. Might not go anywhere with this. It might just be a lot of games of us getting battered. Uh, hopefully we can get a good result against Alexandria because I don't think we're going to get a good result against St. Etienne but I think we might be really like out of our depth in this tournament as well I mean didn't we score two headers from set of pieces which is not a good sign for we did have 10 shots though didn't we to their 11 so <coughs> we'll have to see but I think I foresee a difficult conference league run that ends of us crashing out of it I think we'll probably bring I'll probably bring the game back for one of the other conference league games. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna get a smash by Saint Etienne, so I think probably gonna be Alexandria and Zerinsky as well, because they're the big they're second in the league and they're the, the rival. They've got conservative or maybe even fascist leanings as well, they're fans, so 
we'll go to eventually game against them. And yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching, Twenty Minutes. Uh, thank sorry. Thank you for watching. If you got all the way through this this Twenty Minute long video, and have a nice evening. And yeah, hit like and subscribe if you like the video.